This is your daily video fix from the Sound of Charleston, 105.5 The Bridge. 105.5 The Bridge in the studio right now with Quiet Company, Taylor, Tommy, Matt, Cody, and Jeff. I'm sure you're uh, happy to be in the hopping city of uh, Austin, Texas. Yeah, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. If you're going to live in Texas, you kind of need to live in Austin. Yeah. If, you're, if, if you have any liberal like leanings whatsoever, anyway. And you don't mind like all the, is it like uh, like Brooklyn is now with all the phony hipsters coming in? But you've been having that. Austin's been having that though for <laughs> many, a place many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know who vets the hipsters to tell which ones are true yeah, which and ones which are ones true. are phony. One of my favorite things online is uh, on the Onions website yeah. they, on the AV Club. They have that undercover series, you know, where they bring in a band and they make them basically like a list that they would make for a mixtape, and then bands get to come in and choose one of the songs and cover it yes. in their little room. Uh, there was one band I forget who the band was but there was a like the people that comment on those videos are so ridiculous and they were, there was a conversation going on about whether or not the band's beards were authentic <laughs> and I'm like what does that even mean like what's what's an authentic beard like who's allowed to have a beard where you're like that's you know, you're, you're a legitimate beard wearer we got, know, we these got people are, are phony beard people we got know. five authentic beards oh, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm touching it and it's, it feels real yeah. tell us about what you're doing you're like you have re-recorded your first album and with extra tracks you've just done it totally uh, uh, redid from yeah. scratch we just totally rebuilt the, the whole record from ground up and uh, threw a couple extra bonus songs on there that are from that time period that weren't recorded you know on the record and there's a there's a few different reasons for it ownership reasons and sound we reasons to... art reasons you know just the whole thing was we it's been out of print for like three years okay so a lot of the fans that we've accumulated in the last three years or three or four years like probably don't even know if the record existed mm -hmm. and it was a good record you know it, was, it had good songs and there were there were things about performance and recording and and just overall production of the record where it like. I can't listen to it without kind of cringing. Oh, you know, I know through. the feeling. Like yeah. it was recorded more of like a solo thing. Like it was just it's just me and the guy that recorded it played drums for me at the time. So now on this record, it's got this lineup uh, playing all all the instruments. So of course it's way better, um, way better performances than I was able to do since I don't actually play those instruments. Uh, well, we've got a uh, we're trying to put out four records this year, so we've already put out two. Wow. Uh, so we've got... EPs? Or <laughs> two EPs and two full I like the EPs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a singles EP guy. I yeah. like that. So that's the, uh, definitely the yeah. more economical One way One was a go. Christmas EP, and uh, we've got another EP coming out, and uh, we did that full length. So we got Christmas a, covers or originals? Covers. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. man. Yeah. We got All I Want for Christmas by... Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey oh, on there, amongst yeah, others. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Very good. What's the, what's your website? Where can people get that? Uh, QuietCompanyMusic.com is, is a pretty good place to start, and it's got links to all our other stuff. But we're on everything, Twitter, Facebook, 